Can you hear me? Mm. Roundup, what is 20? Roundup, sorry about that. Greetings, I'm Chris Haskins. I'm gonna be your pilot tonight. By myself, I'm gonna take you on a 40,000 foot journey. We're gonna be flying over the United States of America talking about real estate and why. Why did to only 20%, let me see. How many of you guys got this answer, got this question right? I'm hurt, y'all. I am so shocked that the question of the day today, only 20% of y'all got it right. Let me read it to you. I'll read it in a minute. Roundup, my mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. But in order for me to do that, y'all got to talk back to me and know exactly where we're at. And you did that today, today, right? So we're going to go over this. Wow. Question of the day about lease option. It's crazy. I got my Barron's book. We got some teaching to do tonight. Sorry about that quest. Man, I am so I'm shocked. Roundup. 20% of you got this question right. Let me read it to you. Let me read this question to you. How do we get to this? I'm just shocked. I do these questions of the day because, first of all, you know I love you. Second, I want to see where you at so I can give you the right training. But there I got to, man, let's do this. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. I'm doing the question of the day. I'm answering. I just cannot believe this. I'm going to read this thing today. What is it? 20%. 20%. Let me share my screen. So here's the question of the day. I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see this. Share screen. Boom. Boom. There we go. Ooh. Was that it? There we go. Round up. That's crazy. That's crazy. So my tonight we're just going to be going over some Quick creative finance and definitions so you can get an understanding. You got to understand how these moving parts work. See, what I think is a lot of us are so enamored with real estate wholesaling. We all just want to wholesale, get a house on the contract and flip it. But I promise you, that is the tip of the iceberg when it comes to real estate investing and being a successful entrepreneur, right? I mean, these guys are talking about wholesaling so much and it's cool. I'm not mad at wholesaling. Thank you, too. I got this card. Who is this from? Antoinette. Thank you. Man, you know, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for my Dunkin' Donuts card there. Thank you. We're just so shocked over this wholesaling thing. We forget. You got to understand some moving parts of this business. We're shocked over this wholesaling thing, right? Well, you got to figure out what am I going to do with it after I get it on a contract and further... Wholesaling requires zero money. You're not buying any asset. You don't even take the house down. So I'm telling you, Kenny Russian said it. You're not even in the whole, you're not even in the real estate business if you're wholesaling, right? And everybody's so shy. I want to wholesale, wholesale. And I'm it's cool, but listen, y'all, that is just one strategy. And it's not even necessarily a strategy. You get a piece of paper, you sell it to somebody, boom, over. So I'm talking about buying. Assets, income producing assets where you take it down. I'm talking about real money. And real estate wholesaling does not teach you how to buy properties with money. Okay. I'm trying to get y'all. I'm telling you, I've been on the side where you just wholesale. I've been there. Wholesale, 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 wholesale. You keep wholesaling. And I know we got all this virtual stuff now, and we got systems and VAs and uh, scaling and all that. And I'm cool with that. I'm not mad at that. But can you do that forever? Are you going to be we growing old? Do you have any horses in the stable? Okay, so tonight I just want to go over some brief, uh, some brief definitions so you know wh where you're at with this thing and how the moving parts work for creative financing. Creative financing, you got to understand this stuff or you're going to be stuck wholesaling for your entire real estate career. Let me tell you what hurts me the most. I see real estate investors been in the business for 10, 12, 13 years, no assets. They've been wholesaling all this time, and they're still trying to get a house under contract and flip it to another buyer. I got my cash buyer. I'm like, that's cool, but here's the thing. I am the buyer. I am your buyer, right? So turn into a buyer. Get some capital where you're buying assets, okay? Is this light too bright here? I don't know. I don't even know. Anyway, let's do this. So... Get your Barron's book. If you don't have your Barron's book, it is going to just go to my website. There's a link right there. I make a few uh, 
trying to make a dollar. I make a few pennies on you buying it through my link. Here we go with the question of the day roundup. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Y'all give me a thumbs up. Thanks, Duke. I forgot about that. Uh, question of the day. There are several ways to buy and sell houses with creative financing. If we buy the house on a lease option, which document allows us po <coughs> possession and quiet enjoyment of the property? Let me say it again. There are several ways to buy houses, creative financing. If we buy a house on a lease option, which document allows us possession and quiet enjoyment of the property? Okay. So that's what we're talking about, quiet enjoyment of the property. Now, you got to understand. Oh, boy. Now, listen, uh, I will get Q&A tonight. But if you want to join my channel, if you care about me continually putting content out and you want me to get your question answered first, I created something just for, for the busy entrepreneurs and full-time investors. There's a join button right there just to help support the channel so I can keep cranking out content. It's going to cost you nothing but a large Starbucks coffee a month, and we'll get to your questions first. So listen. Lease options. Here we go. Lease options. First of all, you got uh, two sides of the fence when it comes to real estate. You got two rights. Okay. Two. Two. Possession. Disposition. Possession. Disposition. Disposition. Oh, man. I'm just burned up. 20%, y'all. Y'all making me look so bad. 20% got that right. Possess don't don't forget just because you own a house does not mean you get to go inside unobstructable come and go as you please right just because you can come and go unobstructable as you please inside of a house doesn't mean you own it right so both of those rights can be interchangeable they can be traded away they can be sold off and they can be taken from you okay so these are rights that the real estate that real estate grants right but you can have both you can have unobstructable right to come and go as you please, and you can own it. So it's, you can trade them away. You can borrow against them. You can loan them out. You can sell them. You can grant them to other people. So real estate, there are rights that you have to understand this stuff. So when you when I hear, when I see people, let's look at these answers here. When I see people say, well, the lease, which document allows us possession? Somebody says the deed of trust. How is that possible? How's it possible? Deed of trust. Oh, can y'all see me? Sorry about that. I don't put the thing over here. Here we go. Share my screen. Oops. How's it possible? Deed of trust is over here on disposition. I'm not going to get to that. Promissory note has nothing to do with either one of them. Why would you put promissory note? The option. Disposition. Okay. So I'm looking at that. I'm like, you guy, I, I, I got I to do some more work. I got to do some more work. Okay, so let's get to this. I got to do more work, y'all. You know, and it's on me. It's on me. I'm going to, just like every true entrepreneur, we take 100% responsibility for the people that we serve if they do or don't know the information. Right. So I'm going to take responsibility. I take full responsibility for you not understanding this. It's just my job. It's my job. And so, you know, what's crazy. I was reading about Nat Turner. You think Nat Turner wanted to go out there and get himself killed? You know, he was charged with that. The man said he was born with that stuff. I'm like, not that I'm comparing myself to Nat Turner, but it's like, I, I didn't choose to do this. This stuff chose me, dude. I mean, I got sick and tired when I was starting out. I'm like, I have nobody to help me. Nobody's going to teach me this stuff except these rich dudes that I've just happened to meet Lonnie Scruggs. So I am here to help you understand this stuff. Lease options. Lease, uh, possession, option, <clears throat> disposition, possession, quiet enjoyment. Let me see, get my Baron's book real quick, and then we're going to break it down. Possession. Then I got to get the TTEs out there. Possession. The holding, control, or custody of a property for one's use. It could be either as the owner or the person with another right. All right, could be the owner or not. So that's possession. 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 Oh, I forgot to put quiet enjoyment up here. Sorry about that. Quiet enjoyment. Man, you got us. Oh boy. Yo. 
that really let me down on this one. So we got a disposition in here. Well, they don't have that in here. I don't know why this position. They have disposition costs, expenses of a expenses of a sale incurred by a seller. Right? They don't have disposition here. I don't know why. The dis okay. So the disposition roundup is how a property is disposed of. Possession is uh, grants quiet enjoyment. Disposition is how the property is disposed of. Okay, you got to remember that. Remember those two rights we talked about: quiet enjoyment, disposition. The lease. Okay, the lease gives us quiet enjoyment and possession. The lease allows us to come and go unobstructable in and out of the house. No one can stop me. That's what the lease gives us. Good Lord. Oh, the just go to my, I'm sorry, Major. Just go to my website. You'll see recommended reading right there. It's uh, the Barron's Dictionary of Real Estate Terms. And I'll put a link. If you don't see it, I'll put a link in the video description as well as for my book to the real estate. I'm going to give you guys four free chapters of the real estate negotiating bible i'm just I just finished updating it so you get four free chapters i'll put that in the video description too but i'm looking at the real baron's real estate it's the baron's real estate guide and just go to our suggested reading guys it's right there in my in my uh on my website chrishaskins.com disposition so let's go back to our question and i'm going to break this down if we buy a house on a lease option, which document allows us possession and quiet enjoyment of the property? Hope y'all see that right here. That's our question right there. If we buy the house on a lease option, which document allows us possession and quiet enjoyment? Okay. Possession and quiet enjoyment by default is on this side. It's on this side. The option is on the right side. That's why we have the lease option. Lease option. Lease gives us unobstructable right to come and go. Can't nobody mess with you. Option gives us the right to determine how the property is disposed of. Let me repeat that. Lease gives you unobstructable. Let me put my hand down. Unobstructable right to come and go. Lease option gives you the right uh, to determine how the property is disposed of. Okay. These two rights have nothing to do with each other. Zero. Now, they could. You can own a house, determine how it's disposed of, and live in it, right? Or you could grant that right away by signing a purchase and sales agreement. Now, you don't determine how it's disposed of the person you're selling it to. They're the ones that can determine. They, they can sell that right if they want. They can sell that option or a contract. And if you're uh, if you own the property, that that doesn't necessarily mean you have the right to come and go as you please, right? So you you just cannot you can't mix this stuff up. It just can't be mixed. It just they don't go together. Unfortunately, this privatization of capitalism that we live in, they don't go together. All right. So deed of trust. Some of us put deed of trust. Let's look. How many people put deed of trust? Sixteen percent. And I'm not mad at that. All right. So we got deed of trust. Some of us, right? So the deed of trust. Let's see if we got that in here. Deed of trust. Deed, uh, AKA the mortgage, the same thing. They're both the same thing, y'all, just different states. Deed of trust, an instrument used in many states in lieu of a mortgage. Same thing as a mortgage, y'all. Deed of trust, same thing. So don't even, uh, same thing. Legal title uh, that allows legal title to the property is vested in one or more trustees to secure the payment of a loan. Payment of a loan. So a loan is tied to ownership, right? How many loans? How many loans have you ever seen a tenant get on a property? Has can a tenant get a loan on a property? Can't be done. They might try, but can't be done. All right. Let's go to mortgage. We we'll get any better with mortgage. Mortgage, 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 moratorium, mortgage, mortgage, mortgage. Damn, they don't have mortgage here. Oh, there it is. 
a written instrument that creates a lien upon real estate and secure it for the payment of a, speci a specified debt. Okay. So over here, deed of trust. I know trust, man, people get land trust, deed of trust, and land contract. We get them so mixed up. And dude, don't beat yourself up, round up. If you don't know this stuff, give yourself some time. You think I didn't mix up land trust, deed of trust, trust deed, all inclusive trustee, wrap note, mere wrap note, land contract. You think I didn't get that stuff mixed up when I was starting out? Yes, I did. But it took me years of just studying one term at a time. Disposition, how the property is disposed of, the deed of trust is recorded against the property. If you don't pay it, the lender can take back, they can determine, aka, determine, they can determine how the property is, is disposed of, right? The lender can take back your house. Interest rates goes with deed of trust and promissory notes, right? They don't have anything to do with possession. Only thing that possession is, is with the lease. And you pay rent over here. Do you pay rent with a deed of trust? No, no, you don't round up. So let's look at our back at our example. So deed of trust has all to do with loans. So it's not a it has nothing to do with possession and quiet enjoyment. If you look at our example here, that's on the left side, the possession side. OK, all right. Promissory note. Now, I want you to see this line right here. We're going to go to B real quick. Then I'm going to let y'all go. I'm not going to go hang out with TT tonight. Promissory note. You see this line right here? We'll move. The promissory note isn't even inside the box of disposition or possession. So the promise, do you know, I've got promissory notes with several other investors that are not even tied to real estate. I've got promissory notes tied to cars. You can have a promissory note tied to a piece of equipment like a tractor or a uh, lawnmower or a copier. You can have promissory notes tied to all different types of things. They're not tied to the real estate. Okay, so the promissory note just outlines, outlines the terms between the lender and the borrower. Let me repeat that. The promissory note only outlines the terms between the lender and the borrower. It is not recorded against the property. The deed of trust slash mortgage is recorded against the property. We're in school tonight. I'm shook up when I'm looking at my answers to that. I'm like, this is crazy. The lease recreate. Okay, here it is. Which document allows us possession and quiet enjoyment against the property? It's the lease. It's the lease, y'all. That's it. Possession, quiet enjoyment, lease, possession. That's it. That's it. You know, let me, I got, let me, I was, I got, I got a little excited today because when I saw the answers to that one, I'm like, I know my round of home is going to do better than this. I know, I know y'all, I know y'all can do it. I know you can. Possession, disposition. They don't go back and forth. I know Ron LeGrand said it's like the Chinese wall. Great Wall of China, whatever it's called. I don't know. The lease, the lease roundup. The lease gives you possession and quiet enjoyment, aka quiet enjoyment, aka C. It allows you the ability to come. Just imagine you come home to your house. You can come and go as you please. You get the key, you go right in. That's quiet enjoyment and possession. Now, I can go to the court if I own the property. If I own it, I can go to court and win back possession, right? Oh, boy. Some of y'all put, uh, what is this? D, the option. What gives us quiet enjoyment? The uh, the option. The option. Once again, y'all, option over here. That's why it's called lease option. Lease option, okay? You got a lease and an option. They don't go together. All right, I'm let me calm down a little bit because I, I, I need y'all to know this stuff. I, let me tell you this. Let me just tell you. I, I, I know what I know in my mind is the reason I'm here today. The house that I'm standing in right now, the people call me. They say, Chris, we've shown this to several realtors, several other people. They can't do anything with it. So when I came to look at it, I'm like, I know exactly what to do. So I attribute my education to where I am in life right now. And I didn't have to go to college to learn this stuff. You can learn it right here on YouTube. 
I have a house to live in simply because I knew how to take it down through creative financing. I understand how deeds of trust work, promissory notes. I knew interest rates. I knew substitution of collateral. I knew how to take collateral and move it around. I knew first, second lien position. I knew what junior mortgages were. I understood insurance. This, you know, and I'm, I'm not I'm not the smartest guy in the butt in the in the in the team. I'm just not. I, that's why I know you can do this. It took me years to figure this stuff out, right? So th that's all I got for y'all tonight. That was really it, man. I'm not gonna leave you, but I do want you. If I've helped you at all, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. There's a little like button. Join the channel. If I'm helping you guys, you know, I spent a lot of time putting these videos together for you amongst being being dad, dog walker, husband, all that good stuff because I love you. I want you to succeed. I want you to succeed. If you want to support your channel, that's a link right there. It will not work on the stupid iPhones, but you can join up for our on a computer to do that, too. So thank you guys for ordering. Uh, for helping, supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting the channel, my friend. Uh, what up? Yeah, Eleanor. Just another two. Just another two. Hey, what up, Lord Royalty? How y'all been doing? You're welcome. Beauty Naughty. That's a nice picture you got there. Uh, I got the book today. Thank you for supporting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Who is that? Female Hughes. Thank you so much for your love offering. It's an honor to work for you. I'm just working for you. That's all I do. I'm just working. I'm just working. Uh, got the book. Okay, no questions. Cool. So we get out of here. Uh, Carrie wants to take possession of Huffman. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Carrie, you don't mess with me tonight. I got too much to deal with. I promise you, I got too much to deal with that house. That house, oh, yeah, another house, oh, yeah, another deal. All right, no questions tonight. Thank you, whoever this is, female Hughes. Thank you so much for supporting your channel. I want y'all to get this stuff. Take some time. Take some time. Go to my channel. There's a ton of videos there that will help you get past wholesaling. I'm, I'm not mad at wholesaling, but at least take some time to say, you know what? This is a no money strategy. Let me tell you what happened to me. I found out and I realized that if I continually did no money strategies, the universe and God was going to keep giving me deals that I didn't have to put money into. And you can only be a boss and you can only buy your time back. I was driving through town today in the middle of the day. I'm like, you know what? The only reason I get to do this is because I have my money out there working for me while I get to be here. Let me say that again. The only reason I have time to do this is because my money is out on the street working instead of me. Right? Linus Krug says, Chris, your money can work 10 times harder than you, and it can work anywhere in the world. That's what he told me, right? So I'm like, you know what? I spent the first 10 years of my career trying to do deals with no money. Then when I started sinking money, 10,000 hit, 20,000, 100,000, 150. When I started putting money into deals, that's when I started to feel real light, right? I started to feel real, a lot lighter, okay? All right, round up. Listen, I love you. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Join the channel if you... Would like to support me continually making content. Okay, I'm here I'm st striving to be a better human. I'm learning that we're humans. We can figure it out. Share with any other investors, any other investors that need to know this stuff. And what, one other thing. Oh, the book, the Negotiating Bible. If you want to get four free chapters, that link will be in the video description, as well as the link to the Barron's Real Estate Dictionary terms. You got to have this. You need to have that in your uh, arsenal so you can go find different definitions and stuff. All right, round up. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Sorry for screaming on y'all. That was, that was a little rough. <laughs>